You ready? It's your time. Come on, Eko. Come on, Tyreek. Did the work? Yeah, just one left. He's got one dead left, that's it. One dead left, that's all it is. One dead left. One dead left. One fucking dead left. Let's send a little bridge into retirement. Hell yeah. Let's go. No offense, you guys are a fantastic, fantastic family. And I love you all. But it's your time now. It's a new king. Let's go. America won his record back. America won his record back, Larry. All right, gang, so uh, we're about to kind of get started here. Real excited having, uh, it's been a little bit of a hiatus since uh, the US Open. Uh, it was the last time I handled Larry and the last time we kind of worked uh, together extensively for a meat prep. Uh, some good things, some bad things. Wasn't perfect by any means, but he's definitely ready. Feeling good? Definitely feeling good. Hit right. some good numbers in training. Um, the training numbers are gonna put you in a good position to break the total record for 308. Uh, in a good position to hit a PR total. And the biggest thing, obviously, we're looking for that record. Uh, but the main thing is we're looking for is progress. That's the most important thing. And the record's definitely going to be in the sight. So one of the things that we've learned over the years, you just execute the game plan. You wor worry about being an athlete, and I'll worry about, so he's going to use his body, I'm going to use my brain, and that's going to be like the perfect combination for breaking these records. Uh, he's going to focus on execution. I'm going to focus on strategy. And that's, that's kind of like the winning combination that we found like over the years. So he's gonna turn his brain off. He's gonna let his body do the work. I'm gonna turn my brain on, and I ain't doing much. I'm not doing any lifting <laughs> today. <laughs> um, so we're gonna start light. Uh, Larry's very fast, fast twitch, uh, so we don't want to tire him out. So we're gonna start very modest. The opener's gonna be like a warm up for him. Second attempt is gonna give us enough poundage to gauge uh, what's uh, an appropriate third. We want to try to go for six for six going into the deadlift. And we're gonna pull whatever we need to do to get the job done. And that's gonna be the strategy. So we know what he did in training, we know what he's capable of. Um, and like I said, we have that 2370 plus in sights uh, for today. Uh, and like I said, I'm just gonna let him, you know, he's gonna do his thing, he's ready, he's feeling good. We wanna make sure nutrition's on point, we wanna make sure his, his head is on point, and he's feeling good, we get a good warm up in. And that's gonna be kind of the game plan for today. Obviously, there's gonna be some obstacles. We've got a two flight meet, it's gonna move quickly. Uh, so we're gonna have to plan ahead for that. So we're working on hydration and we're gonna really making sure that he's warmed up and primed, uh, but also not getting too tired. So that's one of the reasons why we're gonna open a little lighter than planned. So he's not kind of um, too tired going into his third attempt. So that's gonna be key is we're building momentum into those third attempts. So that's a good strategy, especially if you're a bigger guy and you don't have a lot of downtime in between two flights versus three flights is a big difference in terms of your recovery. So we're gonna be focused on that today. You ready to rock and roll? Right, you excited? I'm here to do. Oh, right, let's do it, man. Uh, so let me know like what you ate this morning and then what how much water and like fluid you got like this morning already Okay, I had two cups of juice. I had um, Yogurt bagel uh, waffle. All right, so your carbs are good. Okay. Yeah, and then how about the fl sauces. fluid just, just the fluid? juice? Yeah, just the juice. All right, so let's go oh, and I did have a sorry I did have um Electrolyte drink God. So let's do one more of that uh, if you and then so and maybe like another like half liter liter of water now It's gonna move quick. It's only two flights. You're gonna be sweating which is okay. Right, so great. I want to make sure that, and so you're going to be feeling good, you're going to be feeling warm, but we want to make sure that you're hydrated, you're hydrated now because we're not going to have as much time to drink throughout like the day. So let's get like another like half liter, liter of water or so. Let's get a little more, a little more electrolytes in. As we know, we want to kind of prevent the cramping and make sure your muscle contraction is firing on all cylinders, okay? Oh. So let's just get a little bit more fluid in you. And then uh, uh, about nine o'clock, we're going to get under the bar. About so we got about, awesome. so we have about, uh, about 50 minutes before we need to start warming up for the squat. Okay. So if you need to do any stretching or any pre-barbell stuff, uh, you're going to have to start doing that in about 20, 25 minutes. Okay. So anything, whatever you need to do to prepare to get under the bar, get your shoulders and hips open, and then we'll kind of get under the bar and just get you going. So from that time, so from now, get, let's get hydrated, then we'll do the mobility work, and then the fun starts. All awesome. Right? Let's go. All right, let's do it. All right. um, so as far as what the nutrition is concerned, we want to make sure that the fat's low, sodium Electrolytes high, carbs are pretty high as well for the day, so you got that glycogen storage, you got that fuel for the day. So one of the things that's gonna be helpful for you is after squats, if you can like head over and get some meat and rice. So like what's like the, mo the meat you've been eating like the most frequently type of meat you've been eating? Like more beef, more chicken or? Mostly beef. Okay, so I would get like a moderate, it's like one serving of steak and just ask, ask for extra rice. 
and that you could just maybe get two uh, bowls for him and we'll like kind of just eat. And you may not eat the whole thing, but just to have a little bit of meat and rice yep. after each event. So after squat, have a little meat and rice. After bench, have a little meat and rice. That's gonna kind of get you through, through the day. It's literally right across the street. It's called Moe's. So we can you know, put that in the phone, but it's like, yeah, it's like literally across the street. So okay, it's so pretty, I, I would still probably drive, but, um, oh, really? but it's a quick, it's a quick, uh, okay. it's like a minute. So I think we could handle it. But as soon as like after his third attempt squat, I'd probably just like get the order in and have the two bowls. We'll have one for after squat and one for after uh, bench press, and that'll kind of get you through the day. And the rest is going to be fluids. Okay. Uh, but we want to make sure that you're fueled through the day because you're going to crank through those calories quick with those big those big lifts. So, oh, yeah, definitely. all right. So that's going to be the game plan as far as nutrition and just keep sipping through the water throughout the day. Uh, and then we'll, you know, we've got the noon tabs. That's been a staple. So we got these salt tabs. I know, remember when these uh, these saved his butt at Boss of Bosses back in the day. Oh, I couldn't even op open my hand. It was literally glued so, shut, and these saved me. Noon, get at us. You know, give us a... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, seriously, um, so we're going to crush these up after each, each lift, too. So if you feel start to feel any any hint of cramping coming on, we'll just crush a bunch of these up and just swallow them. So, all right? Okay. Nothing new. Just executing <laughs> the plan, all right? Yeah, that's the number. So we're gonna go, uh, you're gonna tell Amy that you're 18 out. They're usually the same as him. Let's try, let's try that. So let's let Amy know your height's 18 out. Okay, 18 out. 18 out? Uh, 18 in, sorry. Okay. I forgot that you got the immobile shoulders nowadays. So <laughs> uh, you gotta keep, got yeah, hook, hooks right. around. We'll start. Really? Good. Oh, okay. Two yeah, that's real good. Uh, Two flights, meaning. A and B. Exactly. I've no. They got the one up right now. No. Basically, take care of business and eat. What's up, bro? Thank you for uh, repping PR, man. Appreciate oh, yeah, that. of course. Yeah, hey, that's good. That's crazy. <laughs> Are you competing today? No, I'm not competing. I just came to watch. Oh, awesome, man. It's going to be good, man. It's really good. Definitely. Yeah, it's crazy seeing you in person, man. Small world, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna give it my best shot. Definitely, give it my best shot. I'm uh, I'm primed to do it today. I'm primed to do it. So just uh, kind of like going back a little bit. It's been a little bit of hi hiatus for Larry. Um, and we were kind of discussing sometimes when it comes to like the longevity and like the lifetime career of an athlete. Sometimes that break can be very valuable. And I think uh, this kind of time off, Larry doing a little strongman training. Us not really working together for like a brief, uh, brief period. I think it's going to be good for his head. I noticed that we haven't seen each other in, in quite some time uh, since he's moved out, uh, since he's moved outside of New York. But we've still been in contact. But it's definitely something you can see the, the energy. We, we got that like connection is back. Uh, he seems very focused. He's not overly anxious, but you can tell he's like that diet, that focus dial is starting to turn up a little bit. Uh, and the mental focus, and I can, you can kind of tell if you've been working with, an, like I said, I've been working on and off for Larry for about five years now. I remember when he was just a young pup at 19 years old, uh, and he came in uh, we, to our gym for the first time, smashing 700 deadlift for three, uh, making me look like a punk. Uh, but the, what, how he's evolved and grew over the years has been tremendous. And uh, I think it's important, even though he's young, he does have a lot of miles on him, and uh, in order for him to kind of have that lasting power, I think this time, the time off here and there can be a, a benefit for him. But I'm really excited to see him get, get back on the platform. I think this is going to be a very good stepping stone for him. Uh, I, I think we're going to see the best Larry Eels, Eels yet as of now, but I do believe this is just the next chapter, and I believe that um, he's got a lot more in him, and this is just the start of something great. So I'm excited. Um, I'm not going to put too much uh, pressure on him or myself, uh, but I'm really just, like, again, pretty pumped to see, like, his demeanor, his, um, his composure, and you can just tell, like, he's been here before. He knows he's prepared. He's physically prepared, he's mentally prepared, now it's just a matter of executing. Uh, and I'm excited to see what unfolds, so stay tuned. I think you guys are gonna enjoy the show. <laughs> that is not supposed to be chewed. Really? Oh my god. You ever try chewing that? You ever try chewing that? Oh, oh wow. You let, you oh, let, you let it dissolve. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, say more. Excuse me. Sorry. Man. I got you. Like, uh, I got put into words, like eating a, like, exposing your mouth. 
I'm always, I'm always, I'm always going to think on myself first before I tell you to do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You might like it then. You might like it. That's only two words we're using today. Power attack. Power <laughs> attack. That's it. <laughs> How are you That's doing it. today? Wow. <laughs> How are you feeling? Attack. <laughs> <laughs> How did your day go in? Oh. <laughs> what? Attack. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> you able to warm me up? Absolutely. Yeah, we're doing the warm ups too. Yeah, just make it simple. Just, just hear me, come up. Um, I'm gonna give you the commands as well in the warm-ups so you get used to it. Um, I'll have to walk out with it. Dude, let's take every advantage as we can. So in the every, I don't care what the lead is, every warm-up, back to the mono. Out there, use the mono. Awesome. I've been using mono, too. We, we don't get style points for walking it out. You're right, I've been, been hard-headed right? for too long. So, uh, yeah, no, it's good. I'm happy, and you're gonna be so much more stable and controlled if you use the mono. Because one thing, when you walk out squat, for me, it's hard to get a breath from the diaphragm. Yeah. You set your air, stand up, get tight. You need to take a little bit more air once you stand up. Do what you got to do. Just however you normally do it. Um, let's get like your knee sleeves on now. Okay. And then we're gonna get on the bar in like ten. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I got more meat than ever right now. I got more meat and more. Ah. The tight is the smallest thing you can get into. Yeah, right now it is. Good. The gag not approved. Whatever, whatever fits, uh, gets over that, like, that, uh, it's not even a calf, that's a cow. <laughs> that's a cow. Whatever fits over your cow, I'm happy about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. If you guys want to grab some PR needs to Leon, PLLifestyle.com. We have a huge Black Friday show coming up, so Black Friday time you want to get these bad boys. Knee and elbow sleeves. Check it out. Whatever you want, I'd rather use the mono, but whatever you want. Put up, red. Woo, it looks like two plates. <laughs> and that loop, and that loop is good. 500 pounds, least 500 pounds, 19 to right for 10 to right. Peter Luis is on deck. John Bowen is in the hole. James Ferrier is four out. Do I need to do five per side like that? Five? Yep, just five reps, and then now other side. And then go to the other side, yep. What's that doing exactly? What's that doing exactly? Uh, we're flexing and extending the joint, so we're just getting it, helping the length. We're tacking the t targeted area, tacking and stretching. So that way when you're in the bottom, you're gonna have more length through here, you can get depth easier. Okay. Yep. That's good.
Wow, that's a nice ass belt, man. Yes, sir. Ooh, yeah. Wow. Think it fit you? Think it could. Yeah. broken in too. Yeah. See. Wow. This is actually too big. <laughs> yeah. It's actually it's snug. It's just right. But damn, surprise, man. That's just crazy. Hell yeah. <laughs> I used to wear an uh, extra small belt when I first met you. I could put me and the in his L belt years ago. <laughs> me and the in the same belt. Come on, Larry. What? Come on, Larry. Up. Nice. Red. Oh, yeah. Nice. One more and then rest. One more and then rest. Plane. Like you're ready to load, man. You don't load yet. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, we're ready. Same way. Four. Oh, Four. Right. Four. Nice. There's two more warm ups. Uh, the 65 pound iron wolf bar. So, next warm up will be. Uh, oh, it weighs heavier. It's like a 30 kilo bar. No. Yeah, it's 30 kilo bar. No, they have like 50 kilo bars. No, no, only 30. It's the heavier. So, next one is going to be 525. And after that, um, let's see, like six, uh, 605. What's yeah. that kilo? Oh, uh, Shit, like 235, and then yeah, something like that. Yeah. Spring chicken. John. I got, I got you. I got you up. Okay. This one. All right, pop back off. Bird. Go, Larry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it feels good, but it's it bugged all in my back. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll study you that on the, on the opener. Uh, I, if you want to try to get us a little bit tighter, it's not a bad idea. If you could do, you could do it quick. If you can't do it quick, quick, just leave it where it is. Okay. Back and forth a bit, 
so it's creating some instability. But we'll see how the next set move. Next one's over eight, like, like uh, eight twenty. And I mean, if that moves good, we'll go for the big hit, eight sixty, eight seventy. More than likely, uh, eight sixty. Uh, but we'll see how, how the next one moves. Do you think you got engaged a lot more, you think? Or? Yeah, I got engaged a lot more. And breathe here, yeah, breathe more in my background. Okay. I want to push it to the top of Boom. Got it. Got it. It is his rack. Side to get the lax more engaged. I think that's why you're a little loose right now. What do you think? Yeah, that could be it. Like another inch or two, like try to push it in. Yeah, that could be it. Remember, remember, you're not using that bar in the back of your body. Yeah, there's a, uh, a Texas bar there. It's a wider bar and uh, it's, it's a whole different bar, bro. Because this bar is stiff as shit, right? Cause that bar got more flexibility, so you got a little more wobble room, to, you know what I'm saying? I think this one is so stiff that it, it's just, you don't got that room, much room for hair work. This one, you got to stay more tight. I think I'm, I think I'm too tight. You think I'm too so tight? tight, I can't even see. I'm, I'm so tight, my head going slow. Like, too tight. I'm so tight, I feel like I can't move. Too tight. I think, um... I'm gonna have to drop it faster. Not too fast, like if it's hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hurt myself, but yeah. I just gotta just drop to the hole faster. That's the only way I don't have any chance. That's the pecs, so how go like this. You feel good this way going like that, that wide too, or you feel so tight over here? Everything's feeling good right there? Yeah, it feels good right there. Man, I settled a lot this time. Okay. A lot. Like when you took it off the rack, you think you had enough time to settle in? That's what I meant, like when you take it off the rack. I'm yeah. not talking about when you drop it. When you drop it, you took it off. I'm talking about when you sell it in. When you sell it Yeah. No, I sell it, yeah. Can I see the video again real quick? And I, I even fall at the bottom. I know. Short term memory, okay? Alright? You got it. Short term memory. You gotta drop faster. You, been, you gotta drop a lot faster. Okay? Okay. This next one's the most important one. Just come down deliberate. Come down deliberate with purpose. Don't be fishing for it. Come down. Okay? You've done this before. Alright? 6.30 is. 
this real quick. Yeah, I'll just wait, way too slow. Way too slow. You need to, I gotta drop way faster. You need to drop faster, that's, that's what I think. Way faster. Even John said much faster. You need to drop way faster, man. Oh, that's your game, it's most of this, man. Yeah. When I bench, I'm gonna go in right here. Exactly. I'm not going down exactly. like. Exactly, exactly. All throughout this set, I was, yeah. it was rolling. You need to get more air in your belly. That's why, that's why I told you, I told you that from your openers. You need a better brace, you need a better lat tension. You need to squeeze the shit out of that bar. You need to push your belly as hard as you can into that belt. The more stable you are, it's not gonna be shaking on you. Okay? Understand? So you need more tension here, you need more tension here. You need tension in your feet. Start with your feet. Tension your feet. Core, back. You lock those things down, squat's not a problem. Your legs are strong enough to do it. So you need to get as tight as you can, and then pull. Okay? And maybe hook them a little bit more, I think. Yeah, whatever you need to do, but as long as you just lock, lock down those areas, and you're fine. Okay? Okay? Ten times, but I could have, I could have hit that five reps. Shit. But we still in a good position to take the record. We still in a good position. I still on the bench, Nella. We're back in. Yes, sir. <laughs> We're back in. So that's what champions do. You're right. Was when the quarterback gets sacked. <laughs> next play. You're right. So you had a we had a little mishap on the second attempt, and uh, you gotta have short term memory as an athlete. So you gotta like let that pass, you gotta focus on the next one. So Larry did an awesome job, he blew up his third. He's got a lot of energy, he's got back strength is intact for the, the big pull, he's gonna need a big pull at the end. But first, you gotta nail that big that bench press. So we're gonna we're gonna get go goals three for three in the bench. If we hit our third squats and our third uh, bench, you're, you're gonna be in position to hit your goal. So awesome. you're in a great spot. What's uh, what is your uh, job right now? Lift. Be an eat, athlete. Eat. Oh yeah, eat right now, Lift. right, sorry. And repeat. Yes, sir. Repeat, lift, repeat, okay? I'm proud of you. You did awesome. Uh, take a ride on the bike, right? You're right. Just like this, you know? So. Uh, on that I'm second attempt. I'm, ha I'm happy, yeah. It, just, it, it was nerves. It was nerves. You weren't, you weren't tight. You weren't braced properly because once you locked in your core and your torso, that bar wasn't shaking anymore. And that third attempt, I mean, that looked like an open. It was unbelievable. Yeah. Which is okay. Right, that's true. And it's a meat PR. That is true. It is a meat PR. Yeah. Progress right. is progress, my friends. It's a good lesson learned, even though, yeah. you know, yeah. our goal was a little bit higher. You focus on the, the good, and we're still in good position. It's a PR, does all positive things, so it's like it's your best position going into a bench. Not a, not a bad start for, for Larry Wheels. So. Right, yeah. We move it on to bench, warming up. Should move a little quicker in squats because nobody's wrapping up. Uh, we'll probably be up on the openers in like 30 minutes or so. This is where the fun begins. Now it's Fun time. Yes, sir. Uh, where it begins. The meet just started. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I need some motion. Yeah. That's something crazy. <laughs> Opening with 490, second at 585, and 635 is the magic number for today. 
we nail the third, 635, and I'll need to put nine to take the record. I'll chip it by six pounds, three kilos. Well, Eric. One, two, three. Out, out, out. Hold it. Turn. Press. Flex. If I throw on the roof. <laughs> yeah, it's doing good. On deck. Four out. Make sure you jump in for handball. One, two, three. Out, out, out. Hold it. Turn. Press. Rip. Three down. Excellent. Wait, three down. Oh, yeah, to the right. To the right. I'm gonna have you hand me off next time. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, you yeah, didn't hand me off at all. Oh, okay. Say no more. Oh, yeah. Say no more. It's gonna be a big bench cover. <laughs> in the front or the back? Back. Infant tomatoes. Okay. Um, let's grab the. Who's the one trying to have done? He does. You think I should do it before lifting? Oh, just tiny bit. It's not too much. Just get some blood in there. I'm gonna do it very light. If you want, we'll just wait a little bit. If you want to warm up a little bit more, it's up to you. Yeah, I'll take one more plate. You see four feels? Yeah, I have to hand me off because the handoff. That's fine. It irritates it. Okay. Yeah. Not a problem. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> My side of the left. That's good. Squeeze that back. Head nod, right? Sure. Ah. Come on, Larry. Hold it. Start. Press. Press. Good. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's get over fluid in here, okay? Okay. How much was that, 135? <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're good. So I'm not going to lie. I do feel in my interest managers where I had a little, little pull uh, a few weeks back. But it's a very small muscle. It wasn't tendon from muscle or from bone. It was just muscle to muscle, a muscle to muscle tear. Um, a tear in the muscle belly. Um, it's not, I mean, the power is better than ever. However, I had ankle pain going into squats and I still smashed a heavy squat. So I'm thinking, yes, it's an inflammation in the infraspinators, no doubt, but it's a small muscle. And I think I'll still be able to push through with, with uh, what we intend on. Looks still pretty big to me. <laughs> big enough to bench. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You ready? Sir. My lower back was actually very tight. Uh, you just keep sitting down more? Or? Yeah, just, just try and keep it relaxed, you know? Yeah. You're good. It's got three singles, that's all. That is true. Yeah, yeah it's a little, a little inflammation with it. Yeah, we'll, um, yeah, we'll get a little, if you need to hit the roller after bounce or whatever, we, get, we gotta stretch the hips a little bit, that's fine. You ready? Uh, I'll let you know each attempt how yeah. bad it is. Yeah, just let me know how you feel after after every attempt. You're good. You look great. You look how strong. definitely there. Strong, the strength's there, so yeah. Yeah. one lift at a time. Right? You got this. Yes, sir. There it is. One lift at a time. So after the opener and second, I really know. But my ankle on the second attempt, so after my opener squat was. Hurt, it was hurting bad. Not too bad, but I, I definitely felt it in my ankle. I'm like, oh shit, are they gonna be all right? And then I went up um, over 130 pounds and I actually had no pain coming up a 30 times squat, nothing. So um, I'm thinking it's just very minor and I'll still be able to push through. Like I am, I learned that Iron Bibby, when he was competing at World Ultimate Strongman, Pulled his bicep, tendon from muscle, uh, or from bone, big injury, uh, competing at WUS, uh, pulling a bus, and that same day, he repped out 440 pounds over his head with a torn bicep that just happened the same day. 
And that just shows that uh, the body learns to adapt. Like you're gonna hurt. He said it, he said he was in pain, but he could still move. He could still lift. Is it a smart thing to do? That's up to you to decide. Is it worth it? Is it worth risking something bigger, more major? I mean, I like to think it's competition day. This is the day where it matters. So you just slap a bandaid on it, rub some dirt on it, and keep moving. But fun begins now. Be ready. Fun right. begins now, Larry. Yes, sir. Go to the roof. We're here. Go to the roof. I said ceiling. Oh, yeah. How'd the bar feel? Okay. It felt a little better, actually. It felt a little better. It felt way better. Way way better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to train with a hole like that? No. Shoulder, but it's okay. Yeah, I'm good. You're right. No, it's gonna make it. Okay. Took 585 on my second. Moved better than training. Not gonna lie, the irritation in the infrared suspenders back here. I do feel it. Uh, but the power is more than ever. I believe it's gonna hold up. I can't say for sure until I do it. But it's moving better than ever has moved before. So. I think we're in a very good position to nail 635 on the third. Of course, you got the world's best spotter, so. Got the I mean, world's best spotter. It's money in the back. Yeah, good handoff, most importantly. Exactly. Are you ready? Yep. Have a good day, right? Ah! Oh, bro. 635? Who's up first? Yeah. Yeah. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one Serious, man. Alright, not yet, not yet. Yeah. You gotta eat. 
635 in my third. Moved very smooth. Felt like a second attempt. Definitely had another 20 pounds in there. But a good coach always leaves some in the tank on every third attempt. Um, for the deadlift, to take the record, I need to pull 900 pounds, 410 kilos. Uh, I'm feeling stronger than I ever have today. The bench confirms it. The third attempt squat confirms it. Now we just gotta see how the deadlift feels, but um, <clears throat> I've been training with skinny kilogram plates, at an extremely sharp bar that was ripping my hands open every time I deadlifted. My last up was with a stiff bar, and today I'm gonna have the ideal deadlift equipment, a Texas deadlift bar that's not too sharp, hopefully, and thick 100 um, pound plates, which makes the distribution of the bar more in the end creating more whip and bend and flex, so it'll make it slightly easier than I've been doing in training out in Dubai. I believe RPS, I should know this, uh, gives fourth attempts. So, assuming 900 goes easy, what I really, really want, even more than the total record, is a, is a Della PR. I've been dying to break 900 for a long time. I believe the last time I pulled 900 was about two years ago. And I haven't pulled the Della PR since. And I did that at only about 265 body weight. So if they allow fourth attempts, I'd love to go like a 920. Yeah. or whatever it is, 900 to third attempt. That's what I need to chip the record. And I mean chip, not break, chip it by one pound. So no doubt Eric Ludwig set this record very high. I think uh, it's been four years and nobody is even close right now. I hope this wakes the beast and he comes back and we can have a head-to-head -head in the same competition one day. Uh, I've always looked up to the guy, I find him very impressive. Uh, he was one of the guys who got me to power the thing in the first place. I'm always giving him credit. And uh, yeah, we are gonna do what we came here to do. We got the best coach in powerlifting right here. He said it, not me. <laughs> yes, sir. We're ready. Let's go, Larry! I'm at 
like the, I'm not the real talk. Cake to me. Cake up. Yeah, I'm gonna cake up. <laughs> that was more than paper right there. That was smooth. I never did that either. But I did feel the dress for the first time. A little. You need chalk up more. That's it. Yeah, I ain't chalk up more. Very easy, but the grip. I know. You, you know? Yeah. How do you know? You got it. Listen, it's 900 pounds. Don't worry about it. Okay? On 18, I mean. Yeah, no, I can see. It's okay. You can the see. lockout's a little slow. You're bigger. We talked about this already. No, I mean, the leverage is. I know, it's because you're, you're big. So it's, gonna, it's more out in front of you. Oh, it just feels, okay. you understand? So the more we're out here, the harder it's the grip. So when you're small at 242, you're nice and tight. So you're saying that you yeah, it's Yeah, just your leverage is. No, no, don't change it. I'm just saying that's why you're, that's what you feel. Oh, that's what I'm feeling. Yeah, and as your body adjusts to the leverages, you're doing fantastic, by the way. Okay? So as you get used to this new body, beautiful, beautiful body. Oh, thank you, sir. It's just going to feel a little harder at the top, that's all. But um, from the start of training to now, your lockout is much smoother, much cleaner. So just hold on to that side. Right. You, do it, you did it once, you just got to do it one more time. You got to do it. Today, today's right. the one that counts. Okay? That's right, sure. That's why we're here, right? Sure. And no matter what happens, I'm proud of you, but you got the power. Right. Don't let go until you hear it down. All right, you got it. Sure. One more to go. And then just make sure you don't step on it. You guys are a fantastic, <laughs> fantastic family, and I love you all. But it's your time now. It's a new king. Let's go. America won its record back. America won its record back, Larry. Hold it real quick. Hold it. Don't let it keep out. Let's go, Larry. Let's go, E. Larry's yet to come, proud of you. Yeah. Just uh, let the dust settle a little bit. Get some water, we'll, we'll have a little chat. Like, what you're like, doing, I'm proud of you. Back on the platform after a big break. Yeah. This is hey, the hardest one. Number one, one in everybody else's yeah. heart. Yeah. That's all that fucking matters. You got the hundreds in the car. They get hurt in the butt. You put the hundreds in the car. That's nothing to be ashamed of. I, let, I, ha, I already have a master plan, but we'll let you let it the dust settle a little bit. But I got you. Uh, got big things coming. All right. Best is yet to come. Rest up, proud of you. Did a fantastic. Good job. Thank you, sir. Take it on this sad boy. Yep. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. My schedule goes. I might be here as well. One to one. So the dust has settled, okay. uh, day is over. So always good to like reflect on how we did, so just kind of recap the day. Uh, had a little bit of a rocky start. Uh, I don't know what happened on the second attempt squat. <laughs> so we uh, ended up uh, taking a conservative jump. I think it was the right move, and hopefully you agree. So we ended up hitting a small uh, meet PR of 8.35, and uh, I'd never seen you squat any better, so that was good. So we ended up with an 8.35 squat, which is a competition PR. I'm very happy about that. Especially after falling and, and training, we weren't really sure like how the squat was going to go. Uh, so I was very happy about that. That put him in great, put him in great position to he'd still be in the running for the total. Also, a little bit of mishap after missing a, a 705 bench, which I didn't want him to, <laughs> want him to do. 
So I blame Julius Maddox. You're not allowed to post any more 700 pound triples. And my man's having a prep because that just gets him too excited. So, so even with that, joking aside, uh, that was the cleanest 635 bench I've ever seen you do. So that bench presses, I uh, thought went perfect, but we were a little conservative. I think probably have, you know, 650, 655 in you, especially when you're 100% healthy. PR subtotal, PR bench, PR squat, good start today. We kind of, that put you in a great position for the deadlift. And the deadlift has been a little bit of your Achilles heel, this cycle, and the reason being, we kind of talked about it before, I have a lot of experience with this, believe it or not. I used to be 340 pounds as a super heavyweight. My deadlift was worse. Uh, my best deadlift at super heavyweight uh, was only 615. My best deadlift in the 285, 290 range was 700 pounds. He witnessed that. He also wiped the floor with me that day, but that's a story for another day. Uh, but um, as you get bigger, the bar gets more out in front of you. The leverage has changed. The lockout becomes more challenging. And we saw that today. So we're going to have to adjust for his body type. got to kind of adjust to the new body. Uh, the leverage, so the lockout's going to be a, more of a challenge. And uh, the callus tour. So we're going to have to improve his grip strength. And we're going to have to improve your glutes and hamstrings to improve that lockout. But the good news is it's, it's there. The, the, to the total is there. Uh, even with a big jump, you hit a 2285 total, which I believe at the time of this taping is number one in the country. Uh, he's still number two in the world all time at 308. For a two year hiatus, super proud of you, man. Uh, so, how do you like feel about like how the day went and like what's like your thoughts like, on, on the day? I think the day went well until the third attempt deadlift came along. Um, I'm happy with the bench, best it's ever felt. Squat, amazing, amazing. third attempt squat, best it's ever felt. Um, I want to say, um, this has been the strongest I felt out of meat. Uh, we looked it too. Yeah. You know, strongest I felt out of meat. No cramping. Only very, very little at the very end towards the world of Dallas. Had a tiny bit of cramping. But aside from that, I mean, this has been the best I felt out of meat, even with a dodgy uh, meat prep. Yeah, the prep was not perfect. And seldom things are never perfect. But part of being a coach for him, um, I can't worry about the past. We gotta always look forward. So. I always uh, use the analogy, like, coach like a GPS, like in the car. You make a wrong turn, you get traffic, you hit roadblocks, you hit obstacles. You gotta, you gotta keep moving, and you gotta reroute sometimes. And we kind of made some adjustments to the plan. Uh, I think things could have been smoother, but I think, honestly, this is probably the best I think could have done today. And we got, could you have you totaled more? Absolutely. But we were here to break a record, and we went for it. And uh, we're not trying for singles and doubles, we're trying for grand slam. Uh, you know, and like I said, for a third all-time record, it's not gonna be easy, uh, but this is a great stepping stone. And what I propose to you, you know, I'm spot a little bit here. I think the best place to do it, uh, you're gonna, it'd be great for your fans, be great for powerlifting, it'd be great for you. Take a little time off, rest up, come back to the East Coast, Arnold Classic, and you take what's rightfully yours, you take that crown at 308. So give it some thought. So what's your initial thoughts on that? Thing? Sounds like it could be a good plan, actually. Definitely. Uh, Definitely you know. a good plan. So drop some comments below if you think that he should, uh, you know, should do it. But joking aside, obviously we're going to let the dust settle. We're going to definitely connect more this week. We want your body heal up. Let's get your lower body healthy. Let's get your shoulders healthy. But I think, um, and I do think, you know, if it's in the cards for you, doing a full prep in New York, you got your friends and family here. I'm, I can be able to coach you and kind of make sure that the prep goes 100% smooth. So I think your eating was good, I think your sleeping was good, I think your hydration was good. Uh, I think the, the training can be better. And if I'm kind of doing the thinking for you, uh, I mean, I don't want to put anything out there too much, too crazy, but I think that you could be not just the best 308 lifter, but the best sleeve lifter of all time, regardless of body weight. And uh, I think that's what, that's what I want to see for you. But one step at a time. It's not Eric Gilbridge off the board. Uh, keep moving forward, so. Absolutely. You know, one thing is small progress, right? Uh, I've never been this heavy. I've struggled to get past 270 for the last two, three years. You worked really hard. You died and caught you for that, for sure. You know, and that was very challenging for me. Uh, Cause I always knew my potential. Uh, I wouldn't reach my full potential until I gained weight, and I needed to work hard in the kitchen. I finally nailed that down. Um, but with that, then a new challenge, which is the grip on the deadlift. Yeah. You know, other than that, um, my squat and bent, my squat still, still can use work. You know, otherwise the second attempt, whatever happened there, would have yeah. not happened. You want to be more consistent, and I think yeah. being having a two-year hiatus from uh, competing, you have to get a little, just like a boxer's got to get a little ring rust off. Uh, it's just you know, competing is a skill. And now we kind of you're getting back in your groove. So I, I really believe that the next meet, uh, we're going to see like the best version of you. And it, it's still. Uh, 
those are those are ours. This last this last. Um, you know, the best version is yet to come. But again, we just want to take it one step at a time. Even though he's made tremendous progress, you know, five years ago, a young Larry Williams, uh, you know, you were totally in the 1900 pound range. Now we're kind of approaching that 2400 mark. So you figure, you know. It's not crazy, crazy progress, but like on average, you're, he's averaging about you know 100-ish pounds a year. It's not insane, but he was at a little bit of a higher starting point. So it may seem like he's making this insane progress, but you're chipping away and you're doing fantastic. And again, we want to focus on being injury-free, taking and saving your big lifts at the platform. And I think if we could do that, stay healthy, um, it's gonna make my job very easy. He likes to keep things interesting for me. Uh, but that's part of the journey, that's part of being a coach. Uh, it's just, you know, putting your athlete in the best position to win, and I believe that we did that today. And uh, I'm just excited for the future. I'm excited to, like, you know, I was very supportive of Larry Strongman venture, but I'd, I'd be lying if I'm, I'm excited to come, for him to come back to power because I believe that this is where your true potential is. And not to say that you can't, I always support him, you know, I always support you in whatever you do. But I mean, I, I think that, uh, I just think you're destined, destined for greatness in the sport. And I believe a lot of people are, so a lot of people uh, agree with me. And I'm just excited to have you back on the East Coast. And uh, it's just, you know, I got I to gotta fire under me too. I'm like, hey, I want to put 900 pounds on my back now. Let's, let's so uh, maybe have a squat battle one day, who knows. But, let's do it, man. Um, how do you feel? I feel like, yeah, uh, doing my next meet prep with you here on the East Coast is a good move. I think that's going to put me in the best position to I mean, it's like taking candy from a baby. That's what I think. I don't want to get, make it. I don't think it'd be that you, you know. It's, but I think, uh, I think that's gonna really put you in the best position to win. Yeah. What's you know? What's only thing holding me back right now is myself, my training. That's what's holding me back. Me not being disciplined when it comes and, you to know, training. No, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. You know, I'm gonna like keep you to a high standard. I always do. But um, you know, every time we're together, uh, magic happens. So the team is back. <laughs> Uh, and I'm just, I'm just pumped. I'm just I'm excited. Um, I'm fired up. Uh, I want to like get on. The, I want to makes me want to get back on the platform again. But um, yeah, I feel like a good energy. It's a good energy between us, and it's part of like you know um, when you have a, a coach and an athlete that really meshes well together. Uh, anything's possible. So well, stay tuned. The best uh, Larry Wheels is to come. Uh, let's show Larry some, some support and give him some love. Uh, if you guys think that the, if you guys want to see him at the Arnold Classic, drop a comment below. And, uh, you know, if you want to check out the programs that he used to uh, hit this total, uh, check out the links right here. Yes, sir. Well, he said it better than I could. He wrapped up my own video, my own channel, better than I do. <laughs> Click Thanks below. Well. Maybe you'll even, you'll even get a sale. Who knows? <laughs> Black Friday's coming up. You know we're having a sale on FearLifestyle.com. Check it out. All right. Well, thanks for your support, guys. If you want to support Larry's journey, uh, yeah, check out the products. Uh, it's always good to support him. Um, there's really no pro power lifter, so every little bit helps, and every like even you know the smallest program donation every, is all. Is every program purchase is good. Um, let's just get more people on the program, right? That's right, absolutely. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs>